A gift causa mortis is a gift made by a donor in contemplation of impending death. Replevin is a suit to recover personal property wrongfully obtained by another. In Brend v. International Trust Company, a gift causa mortis ran into an action in Replevin by a husband who didn't think his wife had died of the right thing at the right time. Maria Brent was about to undergo an operation to remove a tumor. She told her attorney that if she died, she wanted certain friends to have her jewelry, and he told her she could make a gift causa mortis. On August 18, 1914, Maria wrote a letter to International Trust Company. In anticipation of the fact that she might die of the operation, she wanted to entrust International with several pieces of jewelry, each meant as a gift causa mortis to a specified recipient. Maria instructed International to deliver these items to the named recipients if she died as a result of the operation. If she didn't die, she wanted the jewelry to be returned to her on demand. She delivered the jewelry to International, which gave her a receipt and agreed to execute the gift. The next day, Maria's surgeon cut her open and decided that removing the tumor would surely kill her. He sewed the incision back up without completing the operation. When Maria woke up, he explained his decision. Maria returned home. Over the next weeks, she remarked that she knew her illness was fatal and that she wanted to make sure her jewelry went to the friends she'd named. On November 3rd, Maria's attorney told her that because she hadn't died of the operation in August, there might be some question as to the validity of the gifts. He offered to make further arrangements if she wanted to reaffirm those gifts. Maria, who was quite ill, said she'd think about it. Five days later, Maria died of her illness without making any changes to her will or other documents. Maria's husband, Fritz Brent, brought a replevin action against International, seeking the return of the jewelry. Maria's named recipients of the jewelry intervened, claiming the jewelry as gifts, causa mortis. Brent argued that because Maria didn't die of the operation, the gift was invalid. The jury found for the friends, awarding them possession of the property. Brent appealed to the Colorado Supreme Court.